Welcome, my name is Colleen Talkie and I'm the sewing specialist at Fonz & Porter. In this Quilt & Quickly tutorial, I'm going to show you the basic construction for the blocks in the quilt Four Patch Star. Okay, we've got the quilt block here in front of me isolated. We have 12 blocks in this quilt and they're all made in the same format. So it makes it easiest, easier for us to figure out the construction. We're going to be using this wonderful um, variety of blacks or navies, um, creams and reds in kind of a, a dusty color. And from those two and a half inch strips, we're gonna be, we'll be able to cut everything that comes or goes into our block. Now, if we step back from that block, we'll realize there are four quadrants and they're made very similarly. It goes, it changes because of the color placement. So I will turn those so you can see that. You will see here, the blocks are made in the same construction. We have a red center. We have a, a white or cream outer corner here. We have a short blue, light or dark, um, bar here, a longer bar, and these happen to coordinate. So you'll see these are the same fabrics, and then these two are the same fabrics. And then we have these outer triangles that make the points of the star. So let's get into the construction. We're going to be making two of each of these quadrants and arrange them to make this great four patch star. The first part we want to start with will be that um, corner kind of unit has the red in the center. So we will start by cutting from our strips. Go according to your pattern for the number of pieces of, um, that you're going to be cutting from your stars. And so we have a red, a white or a cream, and then a long bar here. Join those with a quarter inch seam and join this with a quarter inch seam. Now in this set of strips, you'll see that they have a pinked edge along the side of them. Each set of pre-cut strips from different companies comes with a different variance. You want to double check to see where your two and a half inch actually, um, actually, actually is. Is it from edge to edge? Is it from the outer points of that pinking or from the inner uh, part of that pinked strip? Keep that in mind as you're seaming so that your, um, your patchwork is consistent throughout. So we would join these, join this together, and then we have four of those in each block. Then we're going to be getting into the construction of the points of the star. So we need to construct blues that look like these in sets. We're going to create two that are this size, two that are this, two of this, and two of this. Now this is um, what we would call a diagonal seams method and I will walk you through that um, construction. We're going to be using, whether it's a long bar or a short bar of blue, we're going to be joining a uh, white square to the end and creating a point for the star. And the way we, that we do that is to take that white square, take a ruler or any straight edge, I'm just using a small one, it's easy to maneuver, take a, um, a mechanical pencil or a fabric marking pencil of your choice, you're going to mark from corner to corner diagonally. And in this case, I'm going to take into consideration that the bottom of the, the interior part of that pinked edge is where my quarter inch seam will fall. So I'm going to mark diagonally across that. Then I'm going to place it. Now the fun part is to make sure that when you're making those diagonals, you're making them consistent throughout because you can, uh, this is the direction if you'll look into the block, this is the piece I'm making. So I want the angle to go this direction. So as I lay it down, I'm going to make sure I repeat that. So watch the diagrams in the pattern so you know which direction your points need to go. Then I'm going to take it to the sewing machine. And that diagonal line that I created is my stitching line now. So I can stitch right along that line from corner to corner across the block. And when you're making this, you'll be making a lot of them at once. You'll want to keep together, though, the groupings. You can sort later if you'd like to, but you can also do groupings. Say I would do all of the blues in this print all linked together, one behind the other, um, chain piecing in the machine, and then I would take all of the navies that are alike 
and chain those because you're going to need them in groups to create this pattern. Remember that we had long and short bars of the same print. Now I'm going to simply, I can do it with my finger and then I take it to the ironing board. I can open up that fabric, finger press all the way to the seam so it's nice and flat, touch it with the iron. People want to always skip this part but it's the, probably one of the most important parts is getting the seams nice and embedded and flattened and then to come back with the scissors you can do it with the rotary cutter also but a scissors also works you're going to cut away the underneath layers because you wouldn't need three layers of triangles underneath there you just need the one now you've created that unit Repeat that process for all the star points in this quilt. You have 12 stars and eight points within each. So once you get those all created, then you're going to want to use that center unit, a square unit, to create the star points like this. This is where organization is really going to be important. So you're going to want to make sure that as you're laying things out, follow your diagrams like this. And then you would want the contrasting, the other print in the short bar, like this. And you're going to be creating one combination like that. And then the second with the navy here and the lighter blue here. You'll notice though that the quadrants are all alike, so once you kind of get into the rhythm, it's good maybe to sit down and be able to make one entire block so you can put it together. Then it comes down to arranging your quadrants. I'll take these things out. So if we wanted to reproduce this block right here, think about the placement of the points. The two lighter blue blocks go side by side, one long, one short. If I've got a long point here, that means I need a navy blue short point next to it. Here, the long medium blue or lighter blue and it pairs up there. So we create a four patch star. So these into a row, these into a row, and then join your rows for your 12 blocks in four patch star. The last point in this quilt is that it has a light blue sashing and then the uh, that runs as a grid through the entire quilt and the outer border if you look closely has linked together the remaining pieces of the medium and dark blues so that the fabrics actually do change as they make their way around the outer border of the quilt. For more of our video tutorials, join or visit our website. Thanks for joining me today.